All right, welcome to part two of the game controls. Part two, we're going to be setting up the blocks. So let's click on the blocks. I would go ahead and connect to your emulator or to your Al Companion if you have a phone so we can test it as we do it. The first thing we want to do is we're going to set up a variable. So we're going to go to variables, do initial global variable, and we're going to name this variable speed. And we're going to give it a value. So we'll go to math. Let's give it an initial value of 10 so that when we click a button, it'll move 10, 10 pixels. Okay. So we need to set up our buttons. We'll start with the left button here. And we're going to get the when left button is clicked, do this. We want to select the good guy. So when we're controlling the left and the right, that is the x-axis. So we want to set the x-axis of the good guy to wherever it currently is minus the speed variable. So let's try that out. Let's go to the math. And let's get the subtraction. And we want to get image or good guy dot x. And then we're going to subtract from that get global speed. So you want to hover over this where it says speed here and it'll bring out this block. Okay. And go ahead and let's connect. I'm going to bring up the emulator here. I'm going to pause the video while it loads here. Okay, so my emulator's back up. So when I left click with the mouse, you can see that it's moving basically at 10 pixels at a time. Um, if you want it to move faster, you would increase this variable here. And when I do that and I press it, it should go a little faster that way. Let's go ahead and set up the right button. So we'll go to right button. When the right button is clicked, we can use this same, these same blocks. So let's copy it and paste it. Control C and then Control V. The only difference here is that instead of subtracting it, we want to add it so it goes the opposite way. So we're going to take out the subtraction block, go to math, get a plus block. There we go. And I can go back to my emulator. And when I click it, we've got left, we've got right. We just need to put in up and down. So let's do that. When the up button is clicked, this time we want to up and down or on the y axis. So we need to get under the good guy, we need to set good guy dot y to. And we need to get for our for going up, it's actually the minus sign. So we're going to do that. And we want to go back to the good guy here and get good guy dot y. and we want to get global speed so I'm just going to copy and paste this block and I can test it out boom and it works now I just need to put in the down button so it'll be the same thing except for plus so let's go ahead and do that when the down button is clicked let's copy this control C control V we'll take out the minus block here and we'll add a plus and after this is done what we're gonna do okay so we've got plus or up and down left and right those all work now basically when we get to a wall it just stops we're gonna set up one more thing okay so when the edges reach we're gonna go to the good guy here and when the edge is reached, we want to set the X and the Y to a specific location. So you want to go down to set good guy X and set good guy Y. So we'll get those two blocks. 
and we'll use math and we'll get a number here there we go alright so now if we when an edge is reached it'll set the X and the Y to 0 and 0 so let's see what that does I'm gonna run into a wall or an edge and it'll end up right here because it's 0 and 0 now say you wanted to end up in the center let's try um, so your X and your Y they both start at 0 here so this would be down here this would be like 250 275 over here it would be like a hundred or hundred and fifty so let's play around with it we want this let's try 75 for the X and let's try 75 for the Y so that's 75 and 75 I'll try a hundred for both I like this a little better. Um, basically, feel free to adjust these numbers. I would put it somewhere in the center, maybe 125 for each, as long as you get the idea. When the edge is reached, it sets the location for the good guy back in the center. Okay, So that's it for part two.